In this tutorial, I'll change an image into this text format. It's used a little in advertising. So uh, we'll get on with it. We'll close, close this one off. Don't save. And open a new file. We'll open the image we just had. Now this is our image. The background needs to be fairly plain, so sometimes it's better to take it against a blank wall to get that type of uh, outline of the image we want. Now we go to colours and we go to threshold. We need to change this to black and white and threshold does a very good job of doing that. And now we need to change some of the, the toning in the photograph just to make it a little bit more noticeable because whatever's black will become where the print is. That's a little bit too much. Just bring it back a fraction and then click OK. Now I'll enlarge this image using the plus on the keyboard and I need to erase a little bit around the lips. The, er the erase is a little bit too big for this case. Just that part there is just not suitable for this type of format so I'll erase it. Everything else is alright. The nose is not very uh, clear but we'll just try it out in this format. Now the th next thing we've got to do, we've got to get some text. Now the text is already on my desktop so I, I hit the window key and the D and opens up uh, the desktop. I right click my text, this is a special text, and I ask it to open with WordPad. Now I go to edit and select all, return to edit and copy. Now we don't need it anymore, we close it off. We make sure that our image is back on the screen. Now because um, GIMP doesn't have a word wrap, we just go to our text tool, click on it and draw a text window around the image. Now we don't need all of the area, just that part of the image. Now our text editor is open. Now it won't work with uh, edit and paste. So you've got to use the control key on the keyboard plus the V key which places the text in there. We make sure we've got our text down at the bottom. Just make sure you're on the fake bit there. So it's continuous. You don't have any... Just hit uh, once again and then hit control V again and fill the text, the image with text. We need one more. And that's our close it off. Now that the text is placed over our image in you know, a text layer, we right click on it and we add alpha to selection. Now it selects all the text on that screen. Now we move, need to move our image above the text, so we pull the down arrow and move the text underneath our image. Now make sure our image is selected, we click on it to make it uh, highlighted. We go to select and we invert our selection. That's the, the uh, image layer. Now with all our image selected, now make sure you're still on the top one. Go to our er eraser tool and choose a large brush and move it right up to maximum because this is a fairly large image. Now all we do now is erase it all on that um, inverted image and there's our text coming through on our image. It's quite simple with uh, GIMP. There's a, lot, a bigger procedure with Photoshop but this one's quite simple. And you just put, keep the mouse button down and paint all over the top of it. And there we go. Well, erase all over the top of it. Once you let the mouse button go, go to select and then select none. That turns that selection off. And there's our text. We can come over here on the into our layers channel and right click the uh, top layer and ask it to merge down. That brings it all into one. Now if you want to put a background into this, it's a little bit different. If you go to uh, layers, add a new layer because we'll make it a transparency. Now it's on the top layer. We, we choose the blend tool and I'll choose a blend that'll show it up a little bit so I'll move down and the gold's not a bad one and I'll just drag across here on that layer. Now normally 
once that blend's been put to the image, normally you could use move that layer underneath and you would see it the text on the top. But it doesn't work in this case, so we need to put our new layer at the top with a blend in it. Go to the mode button and add multiply. And there's our image in the background. Now you can with the top layer selected, which is our blend, we can move it down and go a little bit more uh, see-through transparency. Once again right click the top layer and merge down. And there's our job completed. Quite simply, easily done with GIMP. Now thank you for watching. Rate the video and visit, visit my channel. There will be a link to my website on how to achieve this in a PDF file.